Happy Friday, April 5th, everyone. Hunter here again at Weather on the Go. And in today's weather forecast, we have a lot to break down, including a warming trend this weekend. I know you folks across the Great Lakes in the Northeast have had colder temperatures, but warmer weather is on the way. And that warmer weather will lead to some severe weather this weekend where those temperatures warm up, especially across the middle of the country. And a sluggish storm moving across the United States as we go into next week, literally Literally taking up residence from Monday, April 8th through next Sunday on April 14th. And that will bring widespread heavy rain with flash flooding concerns and some significant severe weather to parts of the country. We'll dive into the details in today's weather forecast. If you are new here to Weather on the Go and you like detailed, accurate weather forecasts across North America and the tropics coming up through this year, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and also the like button down below it helps out more than you know so let's look at the big picture across North America here today and we have that slower moving storm that did produce some heavier snows across the northeast still hanging out across eastern New England but moving up there and towards Nova Scotia today we have a ridge of high pressure here in the middle of the country with a rebound in our temperatures in the Great Plains and a new bowling ball trough moving into the west coast bringing some precipitation to California Nevada and much of the Intermountain West through today so let's look at our temperatures here first and foremost so as we go through today warming trend rebound in our temperatures with that return flow from the Gulf of Mexico all the way up here through at least Nebraska and into the Dakotas today warmer temperatures continue to pump itself northward as we go into Saturday and especially to end the weekend on Sunday, widespread spring-like temperatures across the south and southeast, and that will bring some severe weather concerns as we do go into the weekend because that trough out west will eventually eject across the Great Plains, intercepting some of that warm, moist, and unstable air, and that will be ejecting into the upper Midwest as we get into Sunday, April 7th. So with that in mind, we're going to see some precipitation with that as well. So that slow-moving system we were talking about moving into Nova Scotia and the eastern New England states bringing us some rain snow mix here today that will continue as we go into tonight but look out west we have some very heavy snow breaking out across the Rockies here into the Pacific Northwest, we're talking Eastern Oregon, into Idaho, into Western Montana, right straight down the Rockies there into the Four Corners region as we go through tonight. Seeing some heavier snow continuing across those areas in the Central and Northern Rockies on Saturday, but a low pressure system on the lee side of the Rockies will move out into Nebraska as we go into Saturday this will be for tomorrow and pr produce some potential severe weather from Nebraska southward into Kansas, potentially into Oklahoma during the day. That will lift up to the north, bringing us some rain and snow mix across the upper Midwest on Sunday with the heaviest snows back to the west across Montana and Wyoming. So let's look here at our severe weather chance for Saturday. The Storm Prediction Center's Day 2 Outlook has a slight risk for severe weather. That's a level 2 out of 5 on the scale from Nebraska. Alaska, the Hastings region down into portions of northeast Kansas, but a large marginal risk, a level one out of five, stretching from southern South Dakota all the way down here toward the Tulsa, Oklahoma City area into northeastern Oklahoma on Saturday. And let's look at the parameters here. So as we look at the dew point temperatures, very nice dry line here that will provide the lift for those thunderstorms, but a very narrow, very skinny warm sector with dew points into the 50s and low 60s will only you know, lead the way to 500 to 1,000 joules per kilogram, mostly across portions of Nebraska, Kansas, down into Oklahoma on Saturday. But what is actually going to pick up the slack in that instability is our low level jet. Look at it cranking here across the Great Plains on Saturday, over 50, 60 knots, and that actually could lead to a couple of tornadoes, and that's why the Storm Prediction Center has that 2% chance of tornadoes across portions of the North Platte area, over to Lincoln and Hastings, down into portions of Topeka, Wichita, and far northeastern Oklahoma on Saturday, watching out for a potential tornado or two there. Then the severe weather concerns shift eastward with the cold frontal boundary as we go into Sunday, 
more of a middle and lower Mississippi Valley concern here from Illinois over to Indiana, down into through Kentucky, western Tennessee into Mississippi, all the way down into portions there of Louisiana on Sunday. And then as we go into early next week, another trough continues to move further to the south into the Four Corners region on Monday. That will slowly drift eastward through New Mexico on Tuesday. And then that parent trough will eventually arrive into Texas Hill Country by the middle of next week on Wednesday, April 10th. So a very slow moving storm. And this is going to produce a multi-day severe weather outbreak across the deep south. So starting on Monday, April 8th, definitely seeing a slight risk of severe weather in and around the Dallas-Fort Worth area over here to Shreveport and close to the Houston Metroplex as we go into Monday. Very similar area as we go into Tuesday as this system is not going to move, be moving very fast. So again, the Dallas-Fort Worth area into Shreveport, Houston, and even Lake Charles there on Tuesday. Slight risk for severe weather. And then as we go into Wednesday, another slight risk. Again, this is mainly for East Texas near the Tyler region, down to Houston, eastward toward Little Rock, Shreveport, Lake Charles, New Orleans. That will stretch over to Jackson and maybe even the Mobile, Alabama region as we go into Wednesday. So you see a multi-day severe weather outbreak likely to unfold next week with this sluggish storm moving across the country. So let's look here at your lightning flash density. This basically shows you where those thunderstorms will be possible as we go into those days and seeing on Monday during the day might see some scattered showers and storms down here near the mouth of the Mississippi River and coastal Texas, but these should not be overly severe. I think Monday evening, Monday night, we'll start to see more widespread severe weather concerns from Texas eastward into Arkansas there, Louisiana, and perhaps western portions of Mississippi. Going into Tuesday, an ongoing MCS, a mesoscale convective system with widespread damaging wind potential, hail, and a few tornadoes will be possible already for your Tuesday morning commute. This is in and around the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and then as we go through the day, that MCS will start to move eastward, and we'll have back building with that outflow boundary with more storms forming near central and southern Texas Tuesday night. Then as we go into Wednesday, another cluster of storms or a loosely organized mesoscale convective system will be possible down here again near the mouth of the Mississippi River toward the Louisiana into Mississippi and southern Arkansas and that will continue to move eastward into the Dixie Alley region and the Gulf Coast states going into Wednesday night. So you guys get the big picture here. Severe weather is possible each of those days and going into Thursday, we're still dealing with this storm. Maybe not as much severe weather, but definitely some very heavy rains from portions of the Mid-South up here through the Ohio River Valley. I wouldn't rule out some isolated severe weather across the Southeast, but I think Thursday, we're not really seeing the dynamics for a big outbreak there. As we go into Friday, heavy rain across the eastern seaboard, Maine to Florida. That's what we're going to see for some heavy rain on Friday the 12th. Saturday, seeing a rain-snow mix up here across New England again as cold air tries to move in on the backside of our storm. A little mini storm to the north across the upper Midwest, but most of us starting to dry out on the back side of this storm by next weekend with a strong high pressure system settling in across the southeast and as we go into Sunday we'll finally get rid of that storm and start to dry out across most of the lower 48 but not before we get a huge dumping of rain across the eastern two-thirds of the country just look at the total precipitation here this is in inches through Sunday April 14th essentially through mid-month look at that from the northeast through the Ohio Valley back into the deep south here and just zooming it in and show you some of these potential totals. We could be talking over six, seven, eight inches down here from East Texas through Northern Louisiana, Southern Arkansas into West Central Mississippi, stretching eastward through the Ohio Valley, the Tennessee Valley, the Southeast, all the way up into New England, the Northeast here. We're going to be talking widespread soaking rains, one to three inches here on the table through the Sunday, April 14th timeframe. So flash flooding will be a concern and any snowfall prospects during that time. We're getting into the middle of April. The snowfall is going to become more you know, few and far between, so we're really not talking any major snowstorms. But I wouldn't be surprised for areas in interior New England if we do have cold enough air for a couple more inches of snow or several more inches out west where we have those higher elevations the colder air is easier to produce snow out west. So we'll watch that here for you folks. A very slow moving storm as we go into next week. Multiple days of 
of severe weather and heavy rain. We'll keep you updated potentially with an afternoon video update here right on this channel. So make sure to subscribe to the channel down below for accurate detailed weather forecasts. We'll keep you covered. Like I said, make sure to press the like button, the thumbs up button down below, and I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of their Friday out there.